We're not live, are we? With the latest Dr. Disrespect scandal and ban now a while behind us, the big question that's looming is can he make another comeback? We briefly look into this topic on Trolls Tech and Game. In 2020, Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch after being on the platform for several years, amassing a huge following and millions of dollars in income playing video games. No. David Icke. I'll be it. No, bad. No. I ordered his book, too. Bad. Yeah, I want to be it. No, bad. Oh, the backyard. Uh, the backyard. Oh, okay. Okay, who's it? I appreciate everyone watching today. Who's it in the backyard? Who is going to be looking? The backyard's we'll, tough. We'll we get through. Really, you know, like I said, we don't really know some of the... Yeah, we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I know it's a tough... That's, because I don't know this one well. Life's weird right now. I, oh, my God! Oh, we'll, I did it, did it, did We'll get through this, okay? And, uh... Hey, Christopher. Dun, dun, dun. You better not taunt me. How dare you. <laughs> While the band remained a mystery to us all, he had this to say on his first stream back on the Rival YouTube platform. There's a lot of people that want to know. They want to know what happened. Why did you get banned? Guess what? I want you to look me in my fucking eyes when I say this. Okay? You're not looking me in my eyes here. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I really want you to look me in my eyes. Okay? I really want you to look me in my eyes when I say this. We still have no idea. We have no idea. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not buying that one. Bunch of phonies. We have no idea. I'm going to tell you this right now. As far as I'm concerned, we didn't do anything to warrant a ban, let alone how they went about banning us. No communication before. No reaching out. Nothing. Boom. Done. The problem is, too, there's people in the community that are... Anxious for an answer. And so what that does, it, it, it creates a level of uh, urgency and speculation. And I think it's just a fucking cockroach approach. Period. Last thing I'm going to say about it. And I have to be intelligent about all this. Because you're talking about a heavy contract. Lots of money. <laughs> There's big money involved. So let the legal professionals do what they need to do. That's it. Eventually, Doc said his contract was paid out and there was no wrongdoing and nothing illegal went down. And we all forgot about Damn. it. Damn. It was really only a matter of time. He continued streaming for four long years on YouTube again, amassing a huge following and even more money before the scandal monster once again arose its ugly head. In June, word got out on Twitter via ex-Twitch employees that he had private and sometimes inappropriate conversations with a minor on the platform, which led to his eventual ban. Another adult individual also came out on Twitter and said Doc was messaging her while also cheating on his wife at the same time. Now, back in 2017, Doc did come out and admit to cheating at the time, but never came out with the Twitch ban details specifically. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid, and um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful, and 
As a result of the Twitter shitstorm, it wasn't much time at all before the banhammer came down on Doc's YouTube channel. This was quickly followed by his sponsors and even his own gaming studio dropping him. Dr. Disrespect's final tweet about the situation admitted to the conversations with the miner, but defended his actions saying basically there was no wrongdoing and nothing illegal happened. What do you think? Is this in fact the end of Dr. Disrespect? After seeing the reaction from his peers like Z Laner, Tim the Tatman, and Nick Merckx, as well as millions of negative comments, you would think so. To be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's, that's inexcusable, it's unacceptable, right? Uh, there's no excuse for something like that and and i can't support it i can't defend it and uh look the boys and i are torn up over it too man because we played a lot of games with the guy and, and it feels a little weird but what can you do you know number one anything involving a minor at all no matter what it is like is is not okay it's messed up and it's illegal and it's it's pretty simple so it's a no-brainer right that's number one but and number two with the whole doc situation, if you guys don't know, Midnight Society, who, which is the game that Doc helped build, right, and create, and he was a part of the company, did their own investigative research behind the scenes and found enough, right, found enough evidence to let him go from the company, right? Not like, not administrative leave. If that's not enough, right, evidence or, or, or enough to, like they found something is what I'm trying to say. Okay. It's only been two days into the situation. So let's just wait until we see more. But like, that's all I have to say. Yeah. Saying I didn't do anything illegal or like there was no wrongdoing because there's talks about a settlement, a settlement, no matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something. I have known doc for a while now. We've played games for years and, um, Seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally. And I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate, if he knew that was a minor, and those were the messages being sent. I cannot support that. In what many are calling a defense mechanism, Doc has this to say at the end of his last YouTube stream as the news came in live of his impending doom. I'm exhausted of being in front of the camera. I'm exhausted being on socials. The industry's changed so much. Just so much different energy out there, negative energy and clashing and from everything that we've experienced since we've started this whole journey together, you know what I mean, champs? And I'm just like, when I go outside, I just feel so much better. When I get, when I remove myself, I just feel, ah, oh, what the hell is this, you know? So that's all I'm gonna say. But this is a man who doesn't see the situation like the majority. After that stream, Doc says in his final tweet that he will be back. There is a great deal of supporters for Doc. I've personally read hundreds of support comments. Can he actually recover from this and make a yeah. comeback? Are you kidding me, Alex? Well, first, if he were to attempt it, he would have to be on a platform that would take him. Kick at one point offered him $10 million and haven't said they wouldn't take him in now. There are few other options, to be honest. TikTok? Doc could also just stream from his own site, rent some Amazon web servers, and never have to worry about a ban again. These are a couple options, but if and when he comes back, will there be enough fans to drown out the haters? Because the haters, they will come. Would there even be enough income for it to be worth it for him at that point? It's been nearly a month since the ban. I'm sure Dr. Disrespect is on his vacation with plenty in the bank to weather this storm. The question on all our minds now is, will he make another comeback, or will the Champions Arena sit empty forever as he drives into the sunset? Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. I love you people.